History was made on the football field Friday night. We'll have the details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have softball and soccer results. All this and more come from KFOI Daily News. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Good morning, Fort SH High School. I'm Sydney Martin. It is National Boss Employee Exchange Day. Can you do your boss's job? Can they do yours? Switch it up for the day and see what happens. And I'm Rebecca Baltimore. Today is Monday, September 14th, 2015, and here are today's news and announcements. It was a historic evening on Friday as the football team saw its first female athlete play in a varsity game. Freshman Megan Lyon took the field in the fourth quarter to attempt a point after touchdown. She successfully kicked the ball through the upright and then kicked the ball off on the ensuing kickoff. Congratulations, Megan. The deadline for senior yearbook dedications is November 2nd. Make sure your photo is submitted in the correct format or can be scanned. See Ms. Smith in PA7 for more information. Students interested in spending two weeks next summer with their sister city in Higashi Murayama, Japan, can find out more at an informational meeting the morning of Friday, September 18th. Please sign up in the counseling office if you are interested. Youth Court, Jackson County's Youth Diversion Program for juveniles ages 6 to 17, is now accepting applications for teen attorneys. Youth Court is a peer tried court and offers an excellent opportunity for students to get hands on trial experience in real juvenile cases. For more information or to pick up an application, visit the Counseling Center. Teen Attorney Training starts September 23rd, so to get your application today. When we come back, we'll have today's weather report. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl with disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our 10-foot big screens, and your BFFs. Explore one of our weekend cosmic bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Hello, Fort Osage. I'm Jason Carpenter with your weather. Current conditions are 65. Today's forecast is going to be 81. And at nighttime, it's going to be 66. Tomorrow, it's going to be 84. And now on with your radar. Uh, we have a little stuff coming in, a uh, little bit right here. Uh, that's coming more towards the Joplin area, so we probably won't see anything. And now on for your five-day forecast. Uh, Wednesday, it's going to be 86. Thursday is going to be 87. Friday is going to be 83 with some uh, thunderstorms. Saturday is going to be 77. And Sunday is going to be 75. Coming up next, we'll have your sports report. Hey, Fort Osage Indians. Matt Mitchell here down at Culver's. Welcome back to another great school year. We're super excited to be a broadcast sponsor for your broadcast group at Fort Osage this year. And we just want to let you know to get the year started, we want you to, on Friday nights, know that you can wear any Indians gear, whether it's a hat, a shirt, whatever it is that says your school name on it, come by Culver's anytime between five and close, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Come in for a delicious butter burger or some frozen custard, whether it's in Blue Springs or off I-70 on Little Blue Parkway. With that gear, you'll get 10% off your order. Thanks a lot. Can't wait to see you. Hey, everybody. It's Brianna Reeve with your KFY Sports. The Class 5 third ranked varsity football team had no problem with the North Kansas City last Friday. The Indians easily defeated the Hornets 42-7. Skylar Thompson completed five of six passes for 102 yards and a touchdown before sitting on the second half. Out the second half. Running back Bailey Williamson led the ground game with 80 yards and two touchdowns on seven carries. The defense led by, by down Lyman, Brennan Garrett, Seema Thomas, and Andrew Baxley allowed just 20, 21st half yards. 
As already reported earlier, freshman Megan Lyon became the first female to play in a varsity game as she added the final point of the game for the Indians with her PAT. The varsity, uh, varsity softball team went 2-2 two and two in last weekend's tournament at Tiffany Hills Park. Despite Paige Hayden's 2-4-3 performance at the plate on Friday, the Indians took a 8 to nothing loss to Park Hill South to start the tournament. The team then outlasted Chrisman after four lead change, changes, squealing out a 7 to 6 win. The Indians varsity went up for good on, a, on an RBI single by Taylor Vaughn. Paige Hayden got a hit in each of her four at bats. Mila Collins got the win from the pitching circle, a single from Haley Chase, a two run double by Chloe Harris, and an RBI triple by Emily Jamison. Her first varsity hit led to a five run first inning. On Saturday, Taylor Vaughn did her best to will the Indians to a win with a two hit game, but the team dropped an 18 to 3 contest to Pleasant Hill, the team brought their record to even for the tournament with an 8-3 victory over Park Hill. Vaughn rat racked up four RBIs on two hits, including a three-run double late in the game. Pitchers Caitlin Mickey got the win, striking out two. The Indians are now 5-9 and nine on the season. I'll be back in a moment with the rest of the weekend's sports results. In a world where comfortable roomy seats and delicious snacks await your arrival, the Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Welcome back. The boys varsity soccer team finished fourth in the Moberly tournament over the weekend after going one and two in the three games. A two to one victory following a penalty shootout over Mexico was followed by a tough one to nothing loss to Phantom and a four to two defeat by Father Tolbert. The boys and girls cross country teams ran in the Oak Grove Invitationals. Devin Shear placed in the top five to lead the varsity boys team to a second place finish. Both Kaylee Daly and Haley Alvis placed in the top seven for the varsity girls. In the girls JV race, Madison Reiner finished eighth overall and Brandon Lindell finished second in the boys JV race. And the girls' JV tennis team traveled to Excelsior Springs for a tournament on September 9th. Ashley James finished fourth, and Daphne Pozas finished fifth in sing signals. Uh, and doubles, Carrie Hain and Megan Pardell teamed up to win fifth place, as well as Alexis Sells and uh, Alyssa Kersley. Bailey Bowen and Brianna Everett also teamed up for the doubles and got a sixth place. On September 9th, 10th, the girls varsity and JV tennis teams host Liberty North. The varsity lost 9-2 to with both Charlotte Morrow and Kate Nelson each winning their singles matches. The JV had a great day defeating the Eagles 5-4. to Ashley James, Alexis Sells, and Alyssa Kersley all won their sing singles matches and Ashley James and Brianna Everts teamed up for a doubles win as well as Bobby Joe Brooker and Mia Phillips. The freshman volleyball team beat Raytown High School September 10th in three games. Ashton Mullen served an ace in the third game to finish out the set. The varsity vo volleyball team struggled this past weekend in the Winnetonka tournament. The team went 0-4, losing to Tonka in two, Parkway North in two, Northland Christian in two, and Park Hill in two. Fallon Little had 16 kills for the day. Allie Barrett led the team with 21 assists, and Sydney Smith led the Indians with 28 digs. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar for today, the JV football team had head over to Northtown to take on the Hornets at 4 p.m. The girls' varsity and JV teams head up to Kearney for matches against the Bulldogs at 4 p.m. The boys' varsity and JV soccer teams host Grandview with the JV kicking off at 5 p.m. and the varsity at 6.30. And finally, the girls' varsity, JV, and freshman volleyball teams host Grandview as well. The freshmen and JV play at 5.30 and the varsity start at 7. Come out and support your Indians.
Thanks, Brianna. On this day in history, in 1814, Francis Scott Key composed the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner. Our ACT word of the day is palpable, which means capable of being touched or felt. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day, Indians.